Hey guys, so welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to see how we can train a custom YOLO V9 model on an industrial data set. So we're going to have a data set with some industrial packages running on a conveyor belt. And then we're going to train a custom YOLO V9 model. I'm going to show you the whole pipeline, how we can take the data set and use it directly with Ultralytics. So this is a pretty cool one. We can then go in and count the number of objects going in and out on a conveyor belt. So this is how you can train a custom YOLO V9 model. So first of all, let's just jump straight into our Ultralytics documentation. We can take a look at the YOLO V9 model, which is the new version and member in the YOLO family. So the YOLO V9 model is building a lot on top of the YOLO V5 and the whole Ultralytics framework already. If we go inside the model tab and then we can hit YOLO V9, we can see all the details here. What are the differences, some introduction to YOLO V9, the core innovations and so on. How is it different compared to the other ones? If you just go a bit further down, we can see the performance on the Coco dataset and also how you can run it. So this is some use examples. We only need to specify a couple of lines of code. We can either train it from scratch, but we also have pre-trained versions. We can just create an instance of the YOLO model just as if you're using YOLO V5, YOLO V8, and so on. We just need to specify YOLO V9, and then we have a C and an E version. So we have two versions of the YOLO V9 model. It supports both inference, training, export, and also validation, as you can see if we scroll a bit further down, and we both have the update detection and instance segmentation. In this video here, we're going to do instance segmentation on these industrial packages running on a conveyor belt. Then we can choose between the C and the E version, and we just need to specify the segmentation version of YOLO V9. Let's now just jump into the data sets. Inside our data sets tab, we have tons of data sets directly in here. You can use it out of the box, just specify the data YAML file. We can see the data set structure. We have almost 2000 images in the training set with corresponding annotations. So all the images are already annotated and we have annotations for all these data sets that you can see over here to the left. We can see some applications here, so packet segmentation. If you have a conveyor belt, you can create like a counting system. We have videos about all of that. So count like how many packages are going out of the factory or the production line that you're running on. We can see the data set YAML file. We just need to specify the path to the root directory, train, validation, and test split. We have the classes. We only have one class in this example, so we just specify package. This is the download URL where you can basically just extract the data set directly, but we can also just specify the package sec YAML data set, and it's going to download it automatically from Ultralytics. This is how you can use it either from a Python script or the command line. I'm going to show you both in just a second, but it's the exact same thing. We can then train a model in our local environment. We can use the exact same code and commands in a Google Colab notebook or whatever environment that we are using. Here we can see some sample data and annotations. So we just have a bunch of images with packages on a conveyor belt. And then we have these annotations with the segmentation mask. So we just have a single class, the packages. Sometimes they're very hard to see, but we're going to train a custom YOLO V9 model so it can detect these packages. So the only thing that we have to do is to go in and copy paste this command and change YOLO V8 to YOLO V9. Let's go inside the code editor. I've opened up a terminal. Right now we just need to run YOLO segment train. We specify the data set path here to our YAML file. And then we need to change YOLO V8 to YOLO V9. And we, let's go with the C version. And in our epochs, we're just going to run with 24 now. We can run a command and we will train a custom YOLO V9 model on this industrial package data set. So first of all, it's going to download both the data set and also the model. It will take care of all of that. It's going to set up the whole training pipeline. And then once that is done, we will be able to see all the epochs, epoch by epoch, see all the live metrics while our model is training. So while the model is just setting up here, let's go ahead and take a look at how we can run it in a Python script. And we just have to copy paste this exact code. We can also go inside the YOLO model again. So if you just go inside the models tab, YOLO V9, we also get a code snippet of how we can run training directly. But again, you only need to swap out a few lines of code and you have everything up and running with Ultralytics. So right now we can just go inside the command line. We can pull in the training and right now it's going to train from scratch if we just specify the model in this way here. So again, you can use it in whatever way that you want. So right now we just take this command, go inside our Python script, and then we can basically just set it up. So that was the command line. Let's go ahead and take the Python script instead. So right now we have a training script we import from Ultralytics, we import YOLO, we specify the model here. We're not going to train from scratch, so let's go in and delete that. So we can just go in and specify the YOLO V9C segmentation model instead, display model information, we can do that. But again, it is option optional. We can go in and get the summary and so on. Now we can just hit it 
train directly after that we can run inference let's just delete that part as well and right now we just need to specify the data yaml file for our um, package segmentation data set so right now we also need to specify the number of epochs let's just go with 20 for now as well you can see all the arguments that you can set for this training and also inference when you do prediction tracking and so on inside the also documentation and we also have videos for all of it now we can actually see that the training has started down here in the terminal for the command line that we ran before and when we run this program script it's going to do the exact same thing we just need to specify the yaml file for our package data set so right now i'm just going to grab that there we go and then once we run this python script it's going to do the exact same thing as we have down here in the terminal so you can both use your own local machine you can use a google colab notebook doesn't really matter if you run in a python script or in the terminal directly you'll be able to train a yaml model extract the model and then you can use it in your own applications and projects so right now let's just let it train here for 20 epochs let's take a look at the results and also how we can get the weight of the custom train yolov9 model so right now our model is done training we're going to take a look at the epochs we have the losses they should be decreasing over time and we have our mean position which should be increasing we have the mean position of 0.50 and also 0.50 to 0.95 and we can kind of like just see when we scroll through them they're increasing over time and after 20 epochs it has kind of converged and we end up with a mean error position of 0.92 and also 0.84 here for these metrics so it looks pretty cool we have a good model it is able to do detection of these packages all the results are already stored both the weights files for the last epoch and also the best epoch and they've been stored inside our runs directory which i've opened up over here to the left so we have train 8 we have the weights and then you can just create a new yolo instance of a class and then we can specify these weights and it's going to use our custom trained yolo v9 model we can also go over and take a look at the different graphs and also the different plus that we're getting so we have the confusion matrix which doesn't really like give too much information when we just have a single class but we want all the values to be in diagonal we can also see the different labels the results so these are all the training metrics which is basically just locked over a number of epochs so this is pretty good to take a look at we have our losses they're decreasing over time our mean positions are increasing could probably have been trained for like a couple of more epochs probably like 20, 30 or 40 epochs so we are fully sure that a model has conversed and we're done training but we already have very good results and we can go over and take a look at the validation batches so we both have the labels predictions for a number of validation badges let's just take a look at some of the predictions so these are predictions on our validation images the model has never seen those images before and we're able to detect all these packages if i just zoom a bit more in we can see that we pretty much detect every single package on the conveyor belt with a fairly high confidence score so most of them are act like up around like 0.7 to 0.9 and we can also take a look at uh, one other batch so this is another batch and we can also see the labels so this is the ground truth and these are the predictions so it looks very good and pretty much gets all the detections this is the last batch that we have passed it through so we can see that we're trained a custom yolov9 model able to take these packages in an industrial data set running on a conveyor build so i hope you learned a ton this video here guys definitely go ahead and check it out this is how you can train a custom yolov9 model we have videos covering like everything how we can set up a data set the whole training pipeline with ultralytics you only have to specify a few lines of code and we can both train a yolov5 yolov9 yolov8 model doesn't really matter we just need to use ultralytics specify a few lines of code and also even for the data set then we can train and set up a whole computer vision pipeline, train a custom model, use it in our own applications and projects. So thank you a lot for watching this video here and I hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming ones. Until then, happy training.